What's going on everybody? Matt here with Alaska Cabin Adventures and today I'm with my new friends Aust and his son from Homesteady. If you guys haven't seen his YouTube channel, definitely check it out. It's awesome. Great. They drove the Alcan all the way up with uh, their six kids and uh, to try out the off-grid life, right? Yeah, we're here in Alaska for the summer living off-grid. Today I decided we're just gonna take them fishing on the rainiest day of the year. <laughs> it's absolutely pouring, but uh, it's not gonna get us down. So we're gonna head down to the river and see if we can't catch a fish. It'd be the first for me, first Alaska fish. Cool. Let's see well, if we can do it. We'll right, see. Oh. Yeah. yeah, bragging. He, yeah, <laughs> he's got it covered. All right, well, here we are. We're down at the uh, confluence of one of the major river systems where it meets up with uh, one of the smaller clear water systems. We're in luck, even though it's been pouring rain all night and the river is definitely on the rise, the water clarity is still good. It'll, it'll be chocolate milk and totally blown out by the end of the day, I'm positive, but uh, looks like we're in luck for hopefully catching some fish, so. First salmon today, I'm calling it, first salmon. Beginner's luck is always strong. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Today there's actually a pretty good run of uh, pink salmon coming in. So as they say with pink salmon, just tie on something pink. Let's try something like that. Okay, Why not? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go, there you go. All right. Now don't horse it, let him fight. That's a trout. All right, man, nice work. Okay, I see him. I'll get the net. Oh yeah. Okay, look at this. First fish. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> Long distance release, we call that. Nice, counts. nice job. How about that? First Alaskan rainbow. I touched it, so that counts as a land. Absolutely. All right, nice. So uh, we're not gonna keep the trout here anyway. We're doing catch and release with the trout. We're gonna keep the salmon. They're a lot better eating, and you're allowed to keep a lot more of them, and they're a lot more of abundant resource, so pretty cool. He's my, my oldest, right? So he literally was fishing with me at three days old. Nice. I was a new dad, didn't know you're supposed to like stay home and take right. care of the baby. <laughs> I strapped him to my belly and we went out fishing. My dad took me fishing. He likes to brag that I caught my first fish on a fly rod at age two. Nice. Which um, we're not sure <laughs> the legitimacy of that story, but there is photos of me with a fish at age two. But you got me beat at uh, three days old. So. Uh, yeah, sorry, Matt. <laughs> but um, I tell you what, this kid knows how to cast too. So that's pretty cool. But can he land one? That's yeah, the real that's, challenge. that'll be Don't the real trick. <laughs> on the note of my dad, he actually has his own YouTube channel. No uh, it's all, yeah, it's all about fishing and um, it's called Dry Fly Pro, all one word, Dry Fly Pro. If you guys want to learn how to tie flies or uh, he has amazing podcasts and interviews with famous fly fishermen and authors, he's got some great content on there. Yeah, you got a chunk of it anyway. You got someone else's. Yeah. Dude. Look at that. <laughs> Lunker. We've been getting skunked at that other spot ever since he caught the one, so we moved up river a little bit and see if we can't find some fish here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh. All right. All right, what do we got here? We got a trout. Oh, a beauty salmon. too. Yeah. Fish, that's a pink. All right. This is my first salmon of the year, actually. No way. Yeah, first one of the year. This is a, a pink. And uh, a lot of people trash on pinks as not being any good for eating, but um, when they're bright like this, they're they're still pretty decent. Yeah, Matt, I always cut the gill right away. Yep, bleeding absolutely. Out. Uh, yep. 
All right, third fish of the day for the third guy. Now there's no no skunks right here. All right. Oh! Oh! oh. No! Dang it! <laughs> that is the story of my life, man. That burns. Oh, that was a good. That was fish. a nice fish. Oh. That was a lunker. I had the same thing happen. We were down in uh, down in Homer, first day out. Big old king on, and uh, that one I handed the pole to my son. But that did one he spit was it or break it? Fault. No, he spit it. He spit it. Well, okay, let's let's tell him ah! why. Let's tell him why. So, all right. So, um, I am a diehard uh, fly fisherman, typically catch and release, and so a lot of my lures, when I am lure fishing, I'll uh, cut two of the three treble hooks off, and then so I've only got a single hook on here, and it's barbless. I flatten the barb on him too. <laughs> And he just paid the price dearly for this single barbless hook. I but, literally uh, told Matt that'll be my excuse when I lose the fish. That's so, a, it's a it's a valid excuse. There you go. Yeah. Oh man. That was a nice fish. That, that might was, have been a big trout actually. That was pulling good. All, All right, right. Well, there's more in there. There's more. Let's Back get them. Yep. Back in. All right, another fish. What do we think? Another paint? Looks like so. a pretty big one. I got this guy too. Oh, nice. There we go. All right. Alaska fishing. That's another uh, pink salmon. Yep. I was just coming over to change lures. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to uh, gut these fish real quick. I'm going to flay them later on at the cabin. And I'll usually stop right about at the fins. That way I have something to hold on to later on. Get all the entrails and just put them back in the river for the birds and the fish to eat. All right, so when it's done, the inside will just be a nice, clean looking fish. That's nice looking meat, beautiful. Big prop to this young man here. This guy's a trooper. It is pouring rain, super cold. I'm pretty near hypothermic. And uh, we've been out here for hours now fishing. And he's just hung in here. Just a serious trooper of a fisherman. So nice job, young man. I'm impressed. Oh. So such a great day of fishing. Anyway, so we've been yelling last cast for long enough that I think it's time we're gonna head back to the cabin, uh, clean up some fish, and maybe get a fire going and dry out a little bit because we are soaked in cold. So we're heading out. All right. you got the fish Good day of fishing. Oh, <laughs> we're soaked. All right, well, uh, we're gonna light a fire and get dried out and warmed up. I always use uh, birch bark for starting up my fires, which you can peel the birch bark off from the trees around here. And uh, it's the best tinder fire starter I've found. So just a little handful of that and some dry kindling and we'll be in business. Watch it being done here. Right, exactly. The master at work. Well, I don't know about that. I'm not actually a master filet, so this might be a, <laughs> a learning experience for both of us. Anyway, we got our pink salmon here, and uh, we're going to flay it out. So we've already gutted it and headed it, um, which can be uh, a step that some people skip, actually. A lot of folks will leave the head on and the guts in and just fillet it. Anyway, so lots of different ways to do this. Lots of people have their favorite uh, techniques, whether they go from the head to the tail or the tail to the head, whatever it might be. I tend to go from the tail towards the head. That way I have something to hold on to. I'm just going to make a small cut in by the tail here until I find the, the bone. And then I'm going to try to run flat along it like this, paying attention to the spine. I don't want to cross over and cut through the spine because then it'll get into the next fillet. And a really sharp, flexible fillet knife makes this much easier work. And I'm just going to work it forward, not worrying too much about the rib bones because I can always cut those out later. Just want to make sure I get as much of the meat off this as I can. And there we go. So, just like that, got ourselves Ooh, a little man, salmon fillet. Beauty, look at that. That's a nice looking fish. There you go, Alaskan salmon. 
That's a good shot too. Looks good, man. Ooh. There's a strip here that's the belly of the fish. And the belly of the fish is actually some of the best part. And it is really rich and high in fat, just like a, kind of like a pig with bacon. And what a lot of folks do with these bellies is they'll put them on the smoker. And then smoked salmon bellies, mm, it's about as good as it gets right there. Well, I've never, this is the first salmon I've never filleted a salmon. Yeah, just like a big trout from home. But. All right, so normally for me, I just start kind of along the top here, work my way in. Let's see. Treat it like a deer backstrap. All right, so I wanna show you guys something cool here. He's got a different technique coming in from the top. And what he's doing is actually filleting around the rib bones, which is cool because then he won't have to do any more cleaning up to the fillet itself. Here we go. Anyway, really nice looking fillet job. Mm, Let's take a look here. Not perfect, I could definitely stand to improve a little. Oh man, yours looks real good, Matt. That's a beautiful fillet right there. You're being gracious. I, I got lucky. <laughs> so then let's show him the leftover carcass. Yep. There's the carcass. And if you notice, there's almost nothing left on that fish. So we did a pretty dang good job, actually. You can shave a little bit up here, get a little bit. That's that meat you said, Matt, that would yep. be uh, for yummy burgers. and. Yep. And the other patties. thing you can do is just take that whole carcass and throw it on the barbecue and cover it in maybe teriyaki sauce Ooh, or something like that. Yeah. And then just pick at it, finger food. A lot of times awesome. people put the whole thing on the table and you just grab some crackers and pick the, the meat right off the bones. That sounds delicious. So uh, one other little salmon eating tip I'll give you guys is that you have what's called the pin bones. You can feel them with your fingers sticking out right along here on the fat part of the, the meaty part of the filet. If you really want to treat your guests to a nice uh, salmon eating experience, you take a needle nose plier and you can pull each one of those pin bones out really easy with a needle nose plier. And then that way there's no bones left in there. And it's uh, just when you're feeling fancy and want to do a <laughs> solid for your guests. So best way to cook this up for the first time salmon in Alaska experience. Um, yeah, I like putting them on the grill. Uh, you can't go wrong with baking a salmon. It's really more the way you treat it. So sometimes we'll uh, put a little bit of olive oil on there and then dill and uh, salt and pepper. Yep, yep. And that's kind of one flavor palette. The other one that we really like, especially because you get sick of the same old thing, is teriyaki. Like ah, I was saying. Okay. You can put a nice teriyaki marinade all over it, let it sit for a while, and then put it over like a bed of rice, yep. some broccoli. That's that really good. good. Yeah, yeah really good. Really good. When we're out trout fishing back home, right? If yeah. we're not out for a long time, if we're just fishing for a couple hours, we'll bleed them real quick like we did at the riverside, bring them back to the, you know, the farm. And then I'll normally start just like this. So the head will be on, everything will be on. And that's the biggest, meatiest spot right there. And now with the gut still on the inside, it gives that body a little bit of, I don't know, what's the right word here? Volume, yeah. Volume, <laughs> it's full, so it's easy to work against that kind of resistance there. I teach my kids when we're filleting to listen for this. That sound of the knife bouncing off the bones. So we're getting rid of those. With wow, trout, look at that. With trout, we have so many of those bones. So we've definitely got a female salmon here, got the eggs um, ready for spawn. And a lot of folks will keep those and cure them and eat them. And they are supposedly delicious. You haven't tried? I have, I have not had them, no. Hey, look at that. All right. What does it feel like? And uh, the thing, my, I'm a, a big hobby butcher. I love butchering. We've done on the farm, and you can see the videos on our channel. We've done pigs, sheep, cows, um, deer, I mean, just about every animal. Chickens every year, the family will do 150 chickens. The best thing is your mistakes are all edible still. So as long as you right. don't pop any of the weird stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that uh, people do with the skein or the egg sacs from the salmon is they'll cure them and make roe, um, which is basically just fishing bait. So you can um, kind of get into these big clumps of salmon eggs and then uh, hook that to a, a bobber or whatever and, and catch catch fish that way. So a lot of folks save the eggs for that. Okay, so here's the carcass with it ungutted. So there's all the guts and everything. Did a nice job getting all that. And nothing popped. Nothing popped. As long as you go slow and steady, right? Nothing weird popped. Yep. No nasty stuff in our meat. Nope. Boy, those eggs are beautiful. beautiful. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that. That's yep. so cool. Isn't that caviar? Right. Yep, pretty much caviar, yep. Look at that. I know some people cure them in soy sauce. Yeah. I want to bring those home Even just to show the kids. Yeah. I bet you the, the cat, cats would love, cat would love that. that yeah. Oh, yeah. 
All right, well, there you have it. Big old bag full of beautiful Alaskan salmon with the bellies, and then a separate bag with uh, the head and carcasses and eggs and organs and the good stuff for giving to the cats or scrapping for soups or different things like that. So waste not, that's the entirety of both fish. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Was that that's fun? Awesome. awesome. Matt, awesome. thanks for taking us, man. Absolutely, my pleasure. You gotta serve other people, so just wait your turn. Yeah. Thin, crispy skin, ooh. Just barely cooked through, ooh, yum. Oh, yeah. What side? Uh, put the I don't need skin side up. Oh, I made it. Missed it all up, bro. It's gonna be. I don't. Got a good I don't need to eat now and here. I can eat LL I want. Here, Chef, you want some? That is good. Oh my goodness. That, that is real nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good? Mm -hmm. All together, oh, everything. I can't wait. I can't wait. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh right, my goodness. No oh my goodness, that is the best. I'm not kidding. That is the best fish. Holy crap. <laughs> awesome. Better than crappy. Don't say bad boy. This is a problem. I already wanted to move to Alaska. This.